I firmly believe that we had, or if we had, or that had we had an adequate, competent of professional and technical staff, such as qualified project managers, quantity surveyors, and engineers, then would, not, would have avoided most of the irregularities and overspending that we witness all too often in the past. There have been a number of scandals in relation to the leases and construction projects in the past due to poor management controls, lack of technical capacity and corruption. The Nkandla security upgrade is just one example or one more example of the systemic crisis that was in public works. But we don't lament. We have to act. In case of lease fraud in Johannesburg region, officials concerned were dismissed. The landlord is in court. There are a number of cases where people have been dismissed, top people in the Department of Public Works. There are a number of cases which are going for criminal investigation. In cases of irregularities committed on the Nkanza project with the assistance of the Special Investigation Unit and the Auditor General, we are preparing disciplinary action and measures to hold people accountable. This CETA has made available the funding of about 50 million. The funding also makes possible the awarding of the 120 bursaries, of which there are 50 bursaries for schools program that we are awarding today. The 70 bursaries will be awarded to second and third year students currently studying in the built environment discipline. The CETA contributes about 60,000, and I want to repeat it, 60,000 per annum to each person. Public Works has matched that amount to provide 120,000 per annum per person. This initiative is part of a much or of a much uh, bigger picture. Our seven-year plan to rebuild the Department of Public Works, which includes the following objectives. To rebuild the technical and the professional capacity of public works and the state. To promote training and skills development in the built environment in line with the needs of the National Infrastructure Plan and the National Development Plan and to transform the built environment professions to reflect the demographics of the country and in particular to facilitate access for learners from disadvantaged communities.